Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening to all of you joining us in different time zones for this opening session of the Global CCCM Annual Meeting. It is a pleasure to be part of this event that gathers so many practitioners from, from across sectors and countries. I know the teams from IOM and UNHCR have been working hard over the past several months to bring all of you together. With all of the ongoing crises, displacement at record highs, and the expected impact of climate change, it is more important than ever that we all work together towards ensuring safety and dignity for those living in displacement. That is why it is so exciting to see the development and progress of the minimum standards for site management over these past few years. The minimum standards will help make CCCM more consistent, measurable, and predictable. It will also become a useful tool for raising awareness and advocacy. At the IOM, we see CCCM not only as a sector that improves the quality of life of displaced people, but that also enables people-centered responses by other actors and sectors. The COVID-19 preparedness and response in camps and camp-like settings over the past eight months has highlighted CCCM as a vital and critical sector in displacement. We have been privileged to work with relevant departments and ministries of various countries to adapt and localize CCCM frameworks. It is of utmost importance that these response frameworks fit with local practices, cultures, and administrative structures. So far, our approach has been working. It's also worth mentioning our work on GBV. Over the past five years, we have been working with many colleagues and organizations to improve the mainstreaming of GBV risk mitigation. This is now part of our good programming approach and has become almost a natural reflex for colleagues in the field. I know you have quite a packed and exciting agenda, so I would like to close by congratulating the CCCM teams from both IOM and UNHCR on a job well done. I wish you fruitful discussions in the coming days.